Hello, hello. I'm Ashen Ninja. And apparently I can't talk very well. And the end is nigh. And this is also Tamakan. Uh, the end is sort of nigh. In ten turns, there'll be a vampire, dearly, by the look of that. The vampires. The homelands of the vampires. You know. Down there somewhere. Uh, Karun and Carcassonne. Confederated. We now have a non-aggression pact with the ever-corpulent Kuga. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Biopsy sample, eh? Interesting. We are one of the most powerful factions around, though. Uh, let's see. So this is just an admiral. That's also just an admiral. I don't really... They don't really concern me. Malekith does. Oh, we've got the Black Amulet as well. He's got fucking all of his shit. He's... He'd be a nasty dude. I think if we can get Tamakant to actually... Fucking get into a melee fight. I'm swearing a lot already. That's not a good sign. Anyway, let's get Tamakan into the frozen city. There's. It's a basic garrison. Let's so not worry about it. We'll just. Knock that aside. We will make you and take it over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with that still, and let's get a happiness building in there. Uh, you, let's see if we can actually get that one to come out in an ambush. He's got a decent amount of gear, and oh, he doesn't have that many good casters in his army though. He's got that. Oh no, that's right. I think he's is his caster coming back. His caster has come back. Yes, well, we need to get him to catch up. So let's. We're going to move just a little bit further forward. Up here ish. And we'll go into ambush stance. Hudikai. Hudikai can go straight in here. Uh, we have. Nothing very exciting there. Should be able to just auto resolve. Yes, it's good. Say goodbye to that. Good old Hoodie Kai. He's doing well. Good for Hoodie Kai. Garrison Lord hasn't moved. They've got a lot of shit here. Garrison's all right. Hmm. Problem is, we've just got a lot of trolls. Trolls are not the best at fighting certain units. For example, things that might terrify you are good against trolls. Trolls suck with leadership. Uh, what will we lose? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. We might end up actually losing the entire army because of it, because we don't have much left after that. But we're just gonna put in a bunch more ogres, and we'll see how we go. See what they decide they're going to do. Defeat drop down clean. That would have actually made quite a large difference in the. Um, let's see, he's now on a chariot. Fine. Fort Osterosk. Uh, we'll go with these two thingies. We'll chuck them in. And let's actually chuck in the walls. Just in case. You never know. We will also fill this up. We will go with... Uh, it's going to go with three of each, but it doesn't quite... Yeah, I want... Yeah, three of each. Which of you is worth it? So, we'll see how that goes. They're probably going to be able to take it back with that army, though. Um, Valmir Slaughter Call. That gets him up to level 12. So, 
let's just chuck it in, chuck those points in here, because we've already got monstrous strength. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and do some upgrading of others that require it. Uh, he doesn't really need anything from the lower levels now. We'll go with fleshy abundance though. Just so it's got a heal. Indomitable for him. The plague lord wills it. He has stream of corruption. Might be better. Let's get him blight boil. Just because. And we'll get you the purple sun. Yeah. Uh, Hudakai has made it into this level of stuff, which is good because we can give him, I think it's this one. Freakish mutations, yeah, ogres and trolls. As long as they're gold, Chevron. Don't think his are yet, but they will be soon enough. Uh, we've got those things. Let's give them Aura of Chaos. Same with him. You're level 14, so you get something else. Uh, we'll give you Scarred Veteran. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, I want to quickly have a look back actually here. Can we do any of that recruiting? No. Let's do this repairing at Fort Stragoff, because that actually might make them go that way. Give us a chance to replenish our forces, but our forces are fucked if they attack us. To be honest, it's prob probably I should have just backed off and gone in ambush stance or something, but that's all. That's all right. We lose an army, we can rebuild it pretty quickly. That's the uh, name of the game. If you're a bit of an idiot like me. Here we're going to put in a couple of happiness buildings. Because it's not in the best state. Uh, Cracker Drack could do with one as well. Normally I'd put in one of these buildings. But I think we go okay with that. Uh, you're in the moving up stage. And we've only got 250 gold left. So we won't worry too much there. It's the gross one. Yep. Uh, plague wise, let's have a look at who has what. Temakan, you have a plague. You are not going to have a plague, but we should move you. I want you to go this way. So we want to try and get this admiral. Mentash Deathcaller, he has a plague. He's on his way. Valmir's Slaughter Call does not have a plague, but considering I've put him in a stupid position, maybe it's best we don't give him one. Alright, so I can do all the recruiting of heroes I need to here. So, if we lose him, we can get a better army. <laughs> There's my plan. Alright, we might lose him. We'll get a better army if we do. Uh, do we have one that's got the upkeep production? Yep. What can we do with you, Hurukai? It would be a good one for him to have. Okay, so we can't give him that anyway. I think casualty replenishment rate would be good. Uh, fleshy bun. Yeah, we'll go with that, I think. He still has a lot of orcs to fight over here. Possibly. Well, we've at least got some orcs to still fight over here. They probably don't have much in the way of forces left, though, so that's good for us. Uh, let's see, everyone's moved. Yes, he's wounded for another three turns. All right, that's all fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. This this northern reach up here is really uh really a nice plagued area now. It's good. It's good. 
I like it. I had a bit of a crash earlier, which was good. It wasn't during play. It was while the, the game was attempting to load. The so that's good. If I were. Uh, you want a military alliance? I'm not going to have that. Uh, luckily, I am not one of the people that have the Gen 13, 14 uh, Intel chips. Um, so the crash isn't related to that. But I do think I've either got a faulty motherboard or... RAM, unfortunately. Um, so at some stage I'm going to have to do a, a firmware update on my motherboard to see if that will fix it. Um, otherwise it gets some more RAM and test that. And if that doesn't fix it, well... Then it gets uh, a bit more fucky from there, honestly after that means that there's definitely a motherboard issue uh, the error message is a memory management issue um, so that's no good I'd rather not have to replace the motherboard replacing the motherboard is a bit of a bitch of a thing sometimes and might put me offline for a day or two if I get frustrated and go you know what fuck it and just throw my hands up in the air for a day and not have a computer. Normally that only lasts about half an hour though, and then I go off and just fucking rebuild it anyway because what am I gonna do with my time? I'm gonna I can sit there and stare at a wall. Watch TV maybe. Watch free to air TV. Let's not even think about how awful that option is. Alright, so we've got somebody attacking a town there. And you're jumping up near the tower of flies. As yet, what this um, black arc seems to do is it just seems to spawn fucking lords. It's like, more lords, more lords, woo! Lords everywhere, woo! Get your tits out for the lords, baby! You know, and it's just like, it's fucking stupid though. It's like, woo. Bye. Thanks for a free win, I guess. Like, it's it's a bit ridiculous. What are you going to do? That is the question now. That one has backed off. Hall, Hall Scurry. Hall Scurry? Of all the names. Has just stayed there. That's good. Uh, that's... That was a gamble um, that could have cost me an army, and the gamble has paid off. I think looking at that province just to the north, I'm going to grab a um, uh, what are they called? Uh, one of the melee heroes, exalted melee hero, and I might get him another sorcerer as well for that army. Since the Skaven might decide to not 100% fight back. And those, uh... Oh, it could be good to have. Those heroes would be good to have. Uh, construction cost of military buildings less. Recruitment health, plus 5%. That's good. We don't put them on war shrines. We put them on normal mounts. I don't really rate the war shrine. So we need to get over to Titan's Peak. We're going to go this way. Uh, this will be a good replenishment lane for us. Watch that one. Over this way with the Skavens. Let's get ourselves at least one exalted hero. Bonus versus infantry, bonus versus large. That one is probably the better one at the moment. Because looking at that, lots of large. Uh, quickly chuck in those two. Let's have a look at what sorcerers we've got as well. Maybe hideous visage would be alright. Causes fear. Yeah. Again, the those sorcerers aren't the best, but 
it's still better than nothing. Where are those three? Uh, for Asteros. That's fine. He's replenished quite a bit already, so that's good. Let's see how it goes from there, I think. Uh, if we zoom out, we can see, yeah, so Malekith must have his army in there now. He's got a teeny tiny garrison. And Malekith's army in it, I'd say. Oh, and there's another army as well, but that's just a sorceress. This is probably, yeah, a very simple victory against Malekith. No real losses, so... We will just go and power through. Uh, Daggeroth. We'll actually upgrade Daggeroth while we're here. Meanwhile. Let's get him a bit close. I want to see if the... Keep moving. Doesn't look like there that other lord is here anymore, which is good for us. You're immortal now. Well then, Wellity Wellington, let's see what we can give you. Uh, yeah, right. Other tricksters shard, and we'll give you a prismatic amplifier as well. Crown of command is utter garbage. Glittering Scales is actually pretty good. I like Glittering Scales. The the debuff that it puts on there, or buff, I can't remember which one it is. It's pretty good. Talisman, no, Dragon Bane Gem, shit. Mm. <laughs> Amulets, crap. Let's fuse those two together. Obsidian Armor. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, we'll give you a Shrieking Blade. Anything to kind of stop the enemy from possibly hanging out with him too much. Yeah, Brass Cleave is really good as well, because it's got the... Yeah, that one does a buff. This one does a debuff, I think. Uh, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Other tricksters, blah, blah, blah. Ah, I can't see that. Whatever. Uh, it's not really any good talismans, but let's give him some ancillaries. Not plague ship captain. Okay, no ancillaries to give. Fair enough. Good, good. Let's attack the Palace of Ruin then. Palace of Ruin. Uh, decisive victory. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, auto resolve it away. Occupy. Doesn't look like we really took any damage there. Yeah, it's no damage. So even if that army did come back, it is not a problem. We will also upgrade it, though. Can you get in there next turn? You can. Cool. He's not going to go anywhere next turn, then, because I'd rather get him back. You are going to stay there. Oh, actually, let's have a quick look and just see what this says. Okay, that says we make him run away. That's that's good enough, to be honest. So, good enough for me. Uh, where are the troll king? Ah, oh, yes. Alright, so he's not really going to be able to make it anywhere. That's okay. Head that way, please. Uh, wasn't one of their armies actually sieging us, or did he actually attack? Okay, yeah, he actually attacked. No. Uh, that's all fine there. Kazik the Befouled. I believe I've given you all the points. So you're going to spread control from now on. Spread that control, boy. I say, I say. Uh, level 40 Exalted Hero of Nurgle gets more mentorships. 
Uh, we gave you Flashy Abundance or Rock Boil last time. I think we'll give you Mentor now. Just to help level up our other guys. This is good. More levels are good. He's got nothing, so he can spread control. Oh, he's really got nothing. So, assassinate specialist, I guess. Mentash Death Caller. Mentash Death Caller. Mentash Death and Fall of Death. I probably want to give him a decaying brand, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Blah. That seems like a good idea. Demon Prince of Summer. Demon Prince of Summer. Uh, what do we want with you? Restock's no good. Ah, oh, Gunsight. Doesn't really matter. He's fucking useless. Uh, gave him that. I want to give him Infernal Champion. But that's still another level away. So we'll go with more blight boil for him. Cool. Building upgrades. Let's see what's actually going to be useful on the building upgrade list. Um, Gash Kadra, okay. That could be useful in the building upgrade list. More money. More of them. More money from there as well. A bit more happiness. I won't upgrade those minor settlements yet, though. I'll leave those as they are as well while I think about things. I think those could do with some upgrading just to make sure that stays in the getting happier range deadwood needs that as well because it's on the way down troll country it'll get better <laughs> it'll get better uh yes we got sold to the pestilence last time and what we want to do is get to that one so we're going to go gates of rot so we go that direction then we'll get these ones which yeah uh, right they're all right. I think we'll leave that as it is. We've fuck our 88 dominance now. I haven't really been leveling any of the any of this stuff. It's not too important. Haven't even been doing the battle, which I do have an option to do, but I don't know. I'm, I'm busy fighting Malekith at the moment with uh, Tamakhan, so I'm not really focused on that on getting those battles and stuff done um, if Kugath starts taking a bit of a hit there'll be a good chance we can finally get the uh... oh yeah there he goes that'll be a bit of damage to him we might be able to get a confederation on him if he loses enough uh, which is good for us because then I can have Kugath in the south with my little it's like, cool, we've got a defensive area down here now. No one can destroy us. Though technically, they probably can. Uh, hopefully more of the heroes will bugger off in other directions and not just sort of hang around Tamakan's army. No, it looks like they're all going to hang around Tamakan's army. Oh no, they're going off to Nag Nagrar. Nagrar. So we'll take Nagra next with him. Mentash, is that Mentash Death, Death Caller up there? Yeah, he'll he'll continue on west. Um, in the near future as well. We're just slogging through Nagarond up there. I'm just going to quickly turn on the light for my room here. It's getting dark. The lights are right behind me, but, you know still polite of me to mention these things. He's got four units, so that's alright. I want to get to Admiral Leech. Get rid of their Admiral, then they, can, then they will stop building Lords. Alright, that's cool. We'll just go through and auto out these ones. We'll take the money. 
Yep, that's a good close victory. Whatever you reckon, mate. There we go. A couple more down. He's just congregating at Hell Pit. I wonder if I can actually get a peace treaty with him. So we can get a peace treaty. I'd rather just peace out with him and and move on there. So I've got the the towns that I want, I think, in that area. Except for Hell Pit itself. And I think with these heroes in the state that they are, they need like another 10 levels across the board. Uh, so maybe we'll have a look at that just quickly. Yeah, a bunch of them killed. That's good. Some settlements receiving the plague. That's good. It's a gardener's world. You also have a war shrine now. Put you back on your horse. And we will give you a point in life portal. Alright. Hudakai's army. It's your ass moving. Your ass. Right. Uh, wow, well, they've got a big fucking... Let's see what this says. Close victory, medium, eh? Well, let's get rid of that admiral. Because that's good. That's that sorted. Now, yeah, we'll go back and we'll kill that one off. Ooh, we get two wins out of it as well. That's... Wow. How exciting that is. Yeah, just smack that one down. Finish him off. Hagrave cannot have that much left before they're wiped out now. Yeah, just going to Shaw Strachan. You're gonna... You and you head down this way. You're going to stay in Fort Osteros for a little bit longer. Alright, they've got that. Good chance of peace, that's good. Uh, who are they friends with? Not us, but... You know what, let's... Yeah. There we go, that's good. Here we go. Now we don't have to worry about them so much. I'm not that hot, so I'm not really that interested in help it. Uh -huh. That's all good. That looks fine and dandy. That's good. In that case, let's upgrade that building and we'll upgrade that building as well. We'll move him up to Fort Stragov. We'll put those uh, heroes in there. And we'll find something for him to do. We will find something. Tamakan, let's get you into Nagra now. Yeah, we just occupy it, that's fine. Repair that. Go for that. He's going to stay in the Palace of Ruin. Or maybe not. We might be able to move him a little bit forward. We want the Glacial Gardens next year. And then we're going to be able to hit that. There we go. We get a little bit out of the Palace of Ruin. A little bit. Alright, so he only got one point out of all of those fighting, but that's okay. He's probably an army we'll get rid of. Uh, might even upgrade him to a um, great unclean one. 
All right, let's have a look at our building of things. Howling Citadel will upgrade you. Done. <laughs> Easy. Uh, and we'll also build that building. That looks like a good place to end this episode. So we are well on the way to knocking D Nagaroth down. A few pegs. They're willing to have peace with us at the moment as well. But that's not enough money to make us want to peace out. So we'll continue the good fight against them for now. Uh, I will, over the in-between time, uh, in-between episodes, I'll put in the uh, various plagues and we'll start the next episode in the next turn. So, I've been Ash Ninja, this has been Tamakan, the Maggot Lord, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.